And farmers in southwest England were told today that two badger culling trials in their part of the world have been given the go-ahead. The government has accepted the argument that shooting badgers will reduce tuberculosis in cattle. But as Emily Morgan reports, it is an argument that is still dividing the countryside. It was the issue that threatened to flare into the next major battle of the countryside, culling badgers to help stop the spread of tuberculosis in cattle. It may have been postponed last year, but that same battle looks set to begin again. I don't think there are any surprises that we've announced that the two culls will go ahead as planned. But I also made it very clear today this is only one part of our long-term strategy. We would love to use a vaccine but we're not in a position to do so yet. So licences to kill badgers have been granted in two pilot areas, West Gloucestershire and West Somerset. Scientists say 70% of the animals there will have to be shot to have any effect on the disease. It's, it's great news. Um, a, a major step towards uh, being able to eradicate bovine TB. Carl Gray is one of the directors of the company set up to carry out the cull in Gloucestershire. Although not in the pilot area himself, he's campaigned for this for years. This is a disease of badgers and cattle, and controlling it in cattle alone just hasn't worked. Um, every year we're seeing a 10-12% a increase um, in the number of uh, cattle uh, infected with the disease. But such methods have sparked an emotive response, and many hoped the cull would be rethought. Campaigners against the badger cull have long argued that the scientific evidence just isn't there, that killing badgers will have such a small effect on the spread of bovine TB that it's inhumane and they will continue to fight. This is not the way. The way forward is vaccination of the badgers and of the cows. And government ministers, ministers have to stop this business of saying, oh, vaccination is years away. They should be prioritising vaccination, and that's what we'll be pushing for. It appears, though, the government is in no mood to listen. Shooting will begin any time from June, lasting for six weeks. No matter what, it'll be a bloody battle ahead. Emily Morgan, ITV News, Gloucestershire.